Here at Texas 2036, we've been working to address the affordability of healthcare to make sure that Texans are able to access the care they need when they need it at a price they can afford. That's taken uh, impact with our Healthy Markets campaign, trying to make sure that our healthcare markets are transparent, competitive, and engaged. We recently conducted some voter polling on these topics to see what voter opinions were around the issues of consolidation and prices in healthcare. What we see first with the issue of transparency is that while the legislature has taken good action to increase the amount of transparency, that hasn't filtered down to all Texas voters. A full 41% of Texans have skipped care that they needed in the last year because they weren't able to find out what it was going to cost them in advance of that service. That number jumps up to a majority of Texas mothers and Hispanic voters. We also conducted polling with regard to Texas voters' opinions on the issues of consolidation and high prices. The economic literature is clear that consolidation has led to high prices without a corresponding increase in quality. 68% of Texas voters are not happy with the status quo, and that number jumps up to 87 are very concerned about the issue of consolidation when it comes to its impact on prices. Texas voters are so upset with the status quo that 51% of them are willing to consider government rate setting. Other options that Texas voters were willing to consider and majorities approved of were increased antitrust oversight, as well as prohibition of vertical ownership structures, such as hospitals or insurers owning primary care providers or pharmacies.